Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And we're giving away 100 XRP if this video can get a thousand likes within 24 hours. All you have to do to enter is make sure you press the like button, make sure you are subscribed, and make sure you comment something down below. That is it. And also, guys, make sure you go ahead and follow my second channel called 5 Minute Crypto and check out my latest video that I just launched. It's right here. You can see it all, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Morrison's considers ditching all bags for life for paper. The supermarket chain Morrison's is starting trials which could see a ditch all its plastic bags for life. Now I just wanted to mention this once more as I see sometimes a debate going on about whether or not the durability of XRP really matters and you might be wondering who's bringing up this debate. A lot of people, right? A lot of people say security in Bitcoin's proof of work is important. I'm going to say it once more, more and more companies are looking to quote unquote better themselves by going more durable we can see it here now with morrison's who's trying to get rid of all the plastic bags a lot of companies trying to do that so the whole bitcoin mining situation still is really damn strange right and that's often why i say xrp is the real deal now you might be saying okay so bitcoin can be ticked off then ethereum well ethereum has been having their own issues as well vitalik buterin says ethereum 2.0 presents a much harder challenge than we thought Vitalik says it's likely that some Ethereum applications may fail, while others succeed, but he accepts it as integral to how the project as a whole will move forward. Now guys, that's really the whole situation, how I can describe it in the easiest fashion. It's just a way where Ethereum is good. It's good, really. Trust me, it's, it's pretty good. However, there are a lot of projects that can do it a little bit better. You know, and that's, for example, Cardano here. Cardano is set to take over Ethereum's DeFi business if ridiculously high transactions fees persist. So this article is explaining how Ethereum's progress into Ethereum 2.0 is not going that simply and is actually a lot harder than anticipated upon and thus might take longer or might, you know, not work out as well. He said, I definitely freely admit that Ethereum 2.0 is much harder than we expected to implement from a technical perspective, Buterin said. He continued, I definitely don't think that we've discovered any fundamental flaws that make it impossible, and I do think it will be finished. It's just a matter of time, and it's actually been progressing quite quickly lately. However, Cardano, a lot of people are saying, well, Ethereum has been having such high fees. If you don't know about that, make sure you quickly give it a little look up on the internet because they have been having some crazy, insane fees. And let's see the quote here. Ethereum fees are ridiculous. The sooner we can start porting D app or DeFi apps across from Ethereum over to Cardano, the better. Now is our opportunity to strike IOH Charles. Imagine ADA adoption if consumers have an alternative to paying up to $50 per transaction using Ethereum. Hoskinson, who also founded Ethereum's co-founder, oh wait, who's also Ethereum's co-founder, agrees with the sentiment, implying that such high fees are not feasible and Cardano will take care of it. Quote, I can't imagine it, which is why I built Cardano. And if you guys didn't know, the Cardano founder, Charles Hoskinson, also co-founded Ethereum and co-founded Ethereum Classic. Now, you could say he's you know, a moron to a certain degree because Ethereum Classic is definitely not the most stable project out there. And since he co-founded that one and Ethereum, which is now also you know, not doing that good, kind of you know shows that he, he might be incapable to a certain degree. However, I would like to disagree with all of that. Even though there's a lot of debate surrounding Ethereum Classic, still a pretty interesting coin, and that is that. By the way, if you're hearing some background noise, it's the laptop's fans, which I can't do anything about. I'm now out of warranty at Apple, and I'm too tired to, to go back and fix it. So I'm like, you know what? Eventually, I'll just reset the MacBook and try to see if it's really an internal fault or whatever. But for right now, you're going to have to deal with it, and that is that. XRP records 14 days peak. New 2020 high incoming? Ripple price analysis. So if you guys didn't know either, the price high for XRP is about 30 Three cents, I'm going to say, at the February of this year. Let's actually check year to date here. February this year is 33.6 cents for XRP. And right now, since the beginning of August, it is really looking like we can get to that point rather quickly here. You know, and that's also why a lot of people right now are pretty excited to see what can happen to XRP. Because, well, we're at territory where we can reclaim the yearly high. And that would just be very, very bullish, especially now that we're going plus 5% on the daily here, beating a lot of coins in the top list. 
Bitcoin breaks above $12,000 after David Portnoy and MicroStrategy Venture into Bitcoin. So yes, a little bit earlier we saw David Portnoy say he is very bullish on Bitcoin and a little bit earlier we saw MicroStrategy Venture into Bitcoin quite heavily, which to a lot of our surprise actually sparked up a lot, a lot, a lot in terms of price for Bitcoin. I mean, I knew it was positive for them to hop on, but it's kind of coincidental that just after those two players hop on over into Bitcoin, the prices start to do ridiculously well. You know, it's, it's a little bit strange in my opinion how it all is such a coincidence, but all right. BitPay and Coinbase launch an instant zero fee service for Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and some others. Yes, the largest provider of Bitcoin and crypto payments, BitPay, has just modified its service to allow users to spend crypto straight from a Coinbase account to BitPay enables merchants for zero fees. Again, I've always told you guys how I'm pretty damn excited for all these use cases for crypto. However, with some things like BitPay here, yeah, they're making things just a lot more easy. You know, to be able to get your Coinbase account, take it out of that and just spend it on some miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, that's some real stuff, you know. That's some real things because that makes things so much more easy. A lot of people don't understand exactly how much of a problem this could solve. But many people, they have no way to spend crypto. They just have it locked up in a Coinbase account and will never take it out because they don't really know how to instead of just... Um, no, no, because they don't want to transfer it over to US dollars or things like that. So they're not buying anything and doing anything, which to a certain degree is also respectable, right? Thinking about it, like, for example, me, I'm quite a guy that's against spending your crypto for things. So having more ways to spend crypto, like from a Coinbase account is to a certain degree bad because the likelihood of doing it is higher. However, the possibility of being able to do it, I think, is ridiculously beautiful because you should have as many ways to spend it if you want to. And also having the possibility to spend it is the only way we can ever get to massive adoption in the end and longer run, which is, again, why I, to a certain degree, actually do support it. This should be the start of the next full blown XRP bull run. The more and more time goes by, guys, honestly speaking, the more I'm convinced that what we're witnessing right now is actually the bigger bull run, right? It's so good. The price have been doing so good. I mean, for stocks, it's been doing good, but for crypto as well, it's just been so freaking nice that I that I don't know. I don't know if we can really go down from here. Like um, a couple days ago, the 13th, some of us were expecting, you know, all right, it's, it's actually going back into a downtrend from here on forward because we were making higher low or higher highs and higher lows or hi, no, lower highs and lower lows. So it was kind of looking like this was the trend from now on. However, the 13th, it broke it out again. You can see it right here. And now it's maybe going to go up. It's in a little bit of a channel right now with a little bit of a a resistance you would think here but no actually the resistance is, is is just broken already because the resistance here is 30.3 we are past that here's 31 cents exactly no it's all it's 30.7 so we broke that as well 31.3 then about no 31 no 31 exactly so we're you know we're even above that one Let's see, this one is 31.1. So we're really at this resistance right now, just trying to see if we can cross that, which is really interesting to see. On the seven days here, we're actually above it all. On the 30 days, yeah, this point is 32.3. So this is the only point holding us back here, the 2nd of August. But again, that's crazy to see, guys. That's really, really crazy to see. Bitcoin is poised for a big run. Really coincides with the article explaining how right now it's, it's like, we can surge so much higher. And again, I'm really of that opinion as well that right now is a pretty damn solid period for XRP and Bitcoin. With negative real yields, investors need to look somewhere else to generate returns. And that's again what I also talked to you guys about in terms of negative interest rates, how all of that coincides or kind of points towards crypto prospering because the banking system would fail. And if there's negative interest rates everywhere, there's no real yield to be gained anymore. And thus, the banking system would collapse because they can't lend out money. And so, you know, it doesn't work anymore. Institutional ownership of Bitcoin is increasing. We've been seeing a lot about that. We just mentioned it in one of the articles. From a TA standpoint, the crypto looks poised for a big run. Definitely true. And the resumed interest and wallet growth in Bitcoin are from smart money, not the FOMO crowd. Which is, again, really something good for the foundation of it all. But again, big money is buying. We saw that. We're seeing that every single day. Grayscale is doing pretty good. Uh, we just saw in one of the articles here, 
Portnoy, I guess, has bought a huge chunk, but that's not really important because he's not relevant. However, MicroStrategy is doing really, really good and buying into it. It's all looking pretty juicy. And um, let's see here for VeChain, VeChain and Grant Thornton Blockchain Cypress announced a joint partnership to use VeChain Blockchain for Grant Thornton's consultancy clients, which is is just something I just saw, right? I just saw it. I was like, man, let me quickly report on VeChain as well because it's a coin I love. All right, a lot of you guys are forgetting that I love more than one crypto. I love not only XRP. There's a lot of coins that I really, really like, and you know, I love. And uh, VeChain is one of them, and I would like to talk about them every single day. However, there's just not that much stuff to talk about. They don't really progress as as big and as, as often as XRP does, and there's just not that much controversy or talks or real you know big debates going on as there is with XRP. A good chunk of that is because the community of VeChain is is big, but not as big. And especially the Twitter presence for XRP is just the best out of all coins out there, which is why you could talk about it every single day and never run out of topics. Because there's just people thinking about new stuff, finding out new stuff every single day, which is just really, really amazing to see. But guys, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys again in another crypto video. Don't forget to follow my second channel called 5 Minute Crypto. Check it out. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video, guys.